All right, so I got something cool that I want to show you guys. This is actually for the Titanic kit. Um, this had given me a really good idea. I was wondering how to light the bottom where the portholes are. And what I was thinking of doing is taping the LED tape up underneath the superstructure so it would light the hull. But this is something that actually I found on eBay that has the bulkheads. So it'll strengthen the sides of the ship and also it'll give something um, to put the LED strip on. So let me go ahead and I'm going to open it up for you. All right, so I unpacked it and this is what it comes with. You can see it's got some uh, sections of the bulkhead and these must be the two larger sections of the bulkhead. I'll open them up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I would have felt a little more a little bit a little more confident if it would have come in a box um, but it looks like nothing's damaged. comes with the instructions and I'll go through the instructions with you and I'll put up pictures. Um, let me go ahead and I'll take the things out and I'll show you guys what's included in the kit. Alright, so I took it out of the packaging and this is a long strip. This is numbered five. Um, the smaller baggie was three bulkheads. You can see they say forward facing. And in the smaller bag, or the other bag, there's more forward facing bulkheads and these are numbered one through four. And then in that was a smaller bag that had um, small little L-shaped bracket pieces. So this is a pretty good idea. Um, I'll put up pictures of the listing and um, it looks pretty garage made but um, this is a really good idea. It also came with something I can't tell what this is. Um, it looks like film, film cells. And I'll put pictures of this up to get a better look at it against a, a light. Um, I don't see any screws. I don't know if it needs any screws, but we'll uh, show you the instructions. I'll put this aside, and this is what it comes with. And again, I'll put up pictures because this is a good idea. RMS Titanic, Titanic hull bracing. So this is the parts list. Got A, B, and C. We got A, B, and C. The horizontal brace. Um, one, two, three, and four forward facing. There should be four of them. The L's, it should be 12. It shows you what it'll look like when it goes into the model. Alright, to start the build, it shows you. Let's see, how do they how does it be how is it held together? Let's see. Looks like the L brackets have a lot to do with it. They have um like a film on them. I don't know if that there is adhesive or if it's gonna be glued. It shows you towards the back. And it shows you some more things on this side to cut the tabs um, from the sprue. This is actually from the model. I don't know if that's preparation. That must be done for the model. Shows you pictures of the bracing when it's finished. And that's the last page. And then that's just the shipping, uh, the eBay shipping sheet. So there should be 12 of these. I don't know if these, um, these are probably not adhesive. It's probably neat glue but all right let's take our hull out and we'll see how they fit all right so I took the hull out let's 
see a little bit of bracing. Well, the premise of the of this is to have something to form bulkheads inside the model. And with the strip, let me see if I can get that for you. Part number five will go on, and that's what the LED strip will go on. So that's the idea anyway. Which is a pretty good idea, because I was wondering how I was going to do that. Um, it just doesn't seem long enough. I mean, I want to light more than just this. See if you can see, there's still all that of the model that's not going to be um, where the LED is. But, let's see if I can modify it and see uh, see what goes on. But that, I think that's a pretty good idea for the bulkheads. Um, if you guys are interested, um, I'll put the link down and show you guys where I got this. But for now, I think this is a pretty good idea. So I put it together using tape to show you what the basic frame is going to look like. So let me go ahead and I'll put it into the hull and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Again, I didn't use the brackets. I just held it together with tape to show you guys what it would look like in the ship. Like I said, it's a good idea. It needs to be lit up. So the problem that I was wondering was how to get all the portholes lit up. And what I still might end up doing is going from the top down and putting the LED strips on the um, the underneath of the superstructure. Maybe if you're going to put the um, the radio control parts in and you want to brace the walls up, this is a good idea. That's just my opinion, and I'll leave it to the pro modelers out there to make up their own minds. But I just wanted to show you guys there are options for this uh, Titanic model.